If you missed art last week, we started an art fundraiser project where we drew step by step together a funky cat. Today you're going to follow along with a special paper and a pencil and eraser and a clipboard so that you can get caught up. To start the funky cat, we decide where we want to put the dark parts of his eyes, the pupils, and we draw a dime shaped circle. Then we're going to put down three fingers, one, two, three, and draw another dime shaped circle. Next step is a circle that is a little bit bigger than a quarter. Circles don't need to be perfect. This will give your cat character. To work on the top of his head, we're going to draw a straight line. You can decide how much room you want from the top of his eyes to the top of his head. I'm just going to draw a straight line across and we're going to come up into a little triangle shape for his ear. Same thing, up and straight down. His body is very easy. You can decide how skinny or how wide you would like your cat to be. So I'm going to start at his ear. I'm going to come in just a little bit and then poof back out. Same thing on this side. I'm going to come in just a little bit to kind of give him a little bit of a neck and then let him poof back out. Next step on the inside of the ears, we're going to finish the triangle shape with a little triangle on the inside, a little triangle on the inside. We're going to work on the muzzle of our funky cat. We're just going to make a large circle. Keep in mind this large circle will hold his nose and his mouth. I'm going to make mine a little larger. Inside of his muzzle, I'm going to make a rounded triangle for his nose. Round at the top, pointier at the bottom for his nose. I'm going to draw a straight line down and then I am going to make a very happy cat. You can put a different expression or feeling on your cat's face, but please keep in mind that mom and dad are buying our best artwork. So think about what they might want to see. Next, we're going to add something to the neck area. I'm going to draw a bow tie, but I will also show you how to add a scarf. So for a bow tie, I'm going to start with a circle in the middle. I'm going to draw a triangle shape that is curved for one side and same thing for the other side. Just like making a triangle but making it curved or rounded on one end. Now I'll draw two straight lines to connect to the sides of the cat. Then you could add a fun pattern of your choice. Pattern is just something that repeats over and over. So I'm going to add polka dots to his bow tie and straight lines there. If you would like to make a scarf instead, you would just draw a straight line across and then two rectangle shapes hanging down. You could also add patterns to this. Please only choose one, either a bow tie or a scarf. Um, if you have a different idea, that might be okay too. Just do not include any words. The last step of our cat is to draw a pattern in the background. I'm going to keep mine simple and make zigzag lines. It's up to you how many sections. Just keep in mind that anything we draw, we have to be able to paint. 
So don't make anything too tiny. Okay, and there you have it. That's our funky cat. The last step is to get a black crayon from Watermelon Table and trace over all of your lines. That means go over everything um, that you drew in pencil. Once everything is traced with crayon, then you will be able to paint with the rest of the class because you will be caught up.